one today i will show you how to uh, estimate the discharge using a uh, midsection method and as well as mean uh, area method therefore uh, let us recap uh, how uh, what does it mean by discharge measurement a stream flow it's a stream flow or discharge it can be defined as a flow channel into which the surface run from a specified basin drains. A stream flow measurement techniques can be broadly classified into two categories. Uh, the first one is a uh, measurement technique using direct determination, and uh, the second one is a uh, measurement technique in indirect determination. Therefore, a uh, direct determination technique uh, includes. The first one area velocity method, the second one dilution technique and the third one electromagnetic method and uh, the fourth one is ultrasonic method and uh, the indirect uh, determination me measurement techniques includes uh, measurement using hydraulic structures such as weirs, films and the gate of structures and uh, measurement using uh, slope area methods. Velocity measurement. The most common, uh, commonly used instrument in hydrometry uh, to measure the velocity at a point in the flow cross section is the current meter. These are instruments uh, used to measure uh, velocity at a point in the flow. It's, uh, these are instruments, measuring instruments. There are actually two types of uh, current meters. The first one is vertical axis uh, meter and uh, second one is horizontal axis meter so in image we can view uh, those type for vertical current meter uh, there is an example of cup type current meter here this is uh, edge sections of this cup type current meter illustrated here in detail uh, there is a cup assembly six cups in uh, on a vertical axis uh, this is uh, sounding weight. This is electric, this electrical connection. This connection unit. This is host stabilizing fin. This is fin which stabilizes this sound sounding uh, weight. Uh, here this is there is a counting mechanism here counting mechanism is available here whereas the second one is a uh, horizontal axis current meter there is this is a, prop, a propeller type of uh, horizontal axis meter uh, this is an illustration this is uh, a hosting and electrical connection this is surrounding weight sounding weight the uh, front one is propeller here as you can see this is propeller to rotate uh, this is a uh, fin for stabilization likewise for vertical current uh, meters of cup type current meter this is a fin here it's also available here a fin type the only difference here is uh, this cup assembly six cups on a vertical axis uh, are assembled in such a way this is horizontal as you can see Popular in the front is horizontal as well. Now let's look at uh, those uh, discharge measure measuring using mean method and uh, mean method. Therefore, the first one is discharge measuring uh, measurement using mean method uh, using the equation Q is equals to or stream flow or discharge is equals to width of individual slice times depth of average times average velocity therefore using midsection if if this one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten these are uh, Dave's gauging station as well as velocity gauging station then uh, by just taking average of these two and three in the middle and uh, three and four in the middle then we can determine the flow through uh, this slice, this slice, this hatchet slice. So uh, this is a uh, 
the overall concepts uh, for discharge measure, measurement using millimeter method. Uh, the other one is using mean method. You can determine uh, discharge uh, using uh, in such a way. Q is equal to uh, width times diameter mean times velocity mean. Uh, for first uh, in, in the cross section and uh, for in uh, for last cross section, you can determine the discharge using these two equations. So, equation. so now let's look at uh, let's look at this example uh, for identifying those two meters. Determine the discharge using both mean section and mid section meter. This is the given one. So let's copy this one into Excel and add it. Let's determine discharge. Now uh, we need to uh, find velocity for mid and mean velocity of mid section this is equals to velocity mid and here velocity mean now as you can see these are velocities this is our uh, depth this uh, distance and this is a symbol for uh, right bank and left bank and overall uh, sections here point one point two at a distance of six these are symbols these are a real distance from right bank this is velocity at 0.6 times depth these are 0.2 times depth and 0.8 uh, times depth so these are uh, gauged value measured uh, depths actually so measured depths uh, velocity these are velocity actually so this is 0.26 for example is uh, the velocity at a depth of 0.2 times d where d is at a depth of 0.2 times this one. this one. this is this is the velocity so at this dips the velocity is this one this is the total uh, actually at 0 0.2 times of this dips uh, velocity is this one at 0 0.8 times this dips uh, velocity is this one therefore we according to mid mid uh, method velocity is equals for this section uh, it's equals here here also equals here now we can dra drag here up to this one but here it equals to this bracket this one plus this one divided by 2 then press here it hit enter and uh, the same applies to uh, all till this one so in this uh, last one the velocity only velocity is 0 0.6 times d therefore we will to took without uh, averaging now we can drag also here till the end this is a velocity at a mid a mid section so here discharge using mid section here discharge for uh, mean section yeah now yeah, here velocity according to mean section uh, for this one zero for this one equals to this one this one bracket this one plus here the first one and average divided by two i think I think so now drag this one till this one till this one yeah this is a velocity using mid mean section as well as uh 
we are still using a mid section therefore uh, we can compute this mid section for the first one uh, or this one here according to Q mid section method this is mid section method Q is equal to width times depth times uh, velocity average velocity mean mid this is mid not mid mid velocity mid therefore here go here it's equal to width uh, from 5 to 4 6 to 5 we can subtract from 5 to 4 this is 1 therefore uh, constant 1 here 22 minus 21 uh, 1 therefore you can also uh, 1 times depth depth as this one this one is the depth times velocity mid therefore use the sun use the finger now this is uh, the uh, discharge you can also drag this now you can edit uh, our team now uh, we will uh, see how we can fill using mean method so the first one is the basis and the second one uh, in the this is the second one which is the end for the first and uh, this is the end for uh, the last so we will see how we can fill using mean method this is mean method for the first cross section we can fill the discharge using this equation 2 over 3 multiply with velocity 1 at a depth 1 then depth average times width so so we can convert this So, yeah. This is the first one, so it's equals to the first slice and then uh, equals to 2 divided by 3 multiplies with here velocity 1, velocity 1 is this one, velocity not, velocity 1, depth not, depth 1. So, velocity not for mean is here velocity mean and this one multiplies with depth average here depth average is here depth 1 plus depth notes here multiply divided by 2 times a width which a width, a width is 1 meter which is 5 minus 4 so hit enter now we have filled in such a way now uh, for the rest one for the rest one we can fill b times depth mean times velocity mean so here first equal sign here which is a constant one 6 minus 5 1 7 minus 6 1 8 minus 7 1 9 minus 8 1 in the constant till 25 26 here sorry and uh, the last one uh, with the 0 0.5 here as you can see so here with one meter times depth average depth average here this one plus this one close to divide by two close this to depth uh, times bracket velocity average here mean velocity average here take this p mean this one plus this one close bracket 2 divided by 2 now we have finished the 
division and hit enter hit enter now as you can see we can drag till the end cross section here but we can feel this end cross section with uh, the equation with this one and uh, this equals to but here the velocity uh, different to divide by 3 multiplies with velocity n minus 1 not n so velocity n minus 1 velocity at n, n minus 1 is here velocity at n is two, at uh, 22 and velocity n minus uh, at n is lb and uh, velocity at n uh, minus 1 is at 22 therefore uh, we will take this mean velocity and the velocity at n n is this one and velocity at n minus 1 is this one so, so uh, take this velocity n minus 1 times this average this average here so, so this is the this here plus this one close to divide by 2 close this average times sorry, times here the only thing remaining is uh, this uh, width so the width is 26.5 that is 26.5 minus 26 is the width so we can multiply such a way and hit enter finally this is how we can uh, calculate using mean section method and uh, uh, mean uh, meter. So uh, we can compare by auto sum here the value here. Here also auto sum. It enter. As you can see, discharge is almost uh, similar, and the only changes by 0.04 per second here so uh, for when we recap so uh, for the first in position you can calculate using uh, this equation for mean method and for the last in position you can calculate the discharge using this equation but for the rest we calculate in such a way there is mean mean and uh, velocity mean here not mean so you can uh, calculate in such a way for mean method and uh, for mid section you can calculate you can calculate using uh, this equation width times depth times velocity mid this equation you can easily calculate uh, the discharge so this is all about thank you uh, very much for today we will meet on another video